again, it, it, we can never teach it enough. I mean, I call it the f bucket of volatility for a reason, right? I mean, once you get into that regime, your sector styles, your if it's equity, it's going to go down. Uh, and that's, I, I think people should, if they haven't respected that fully now, that's that's what they should, should respect after yesterday. Yeah, I think uh, yesterday was maybe, you know, the sort of most quintessential quad four day we've had since the start of the year. But, you know, this morning, I just want to focus a little bit here on what I see is, you know, kind of the, the quad four playbook uh, within, you know, my coverage universe. So, you know, long payments, uh, you know, giant network companies like Visa that benefit from inflation and against that short card lenders like Capital One that are, you know, as we've talked about now on the wrong side of, of credit rate of change. So, you know, if you look historically, uh, payment networks, they're among the best historical quad four performers, while, you know, conversely, card companies have been among the worst. So, you know, that's really the setup. And, and this morning, we're, we're getting that sort of on display. So, uh, we've got Visa up this morning in the pre-market about 5%, and we've got Capital One uh, down about 5% in the pre-market. We flagged the big payment networks as you know, among the best places to hide uh, within our world uh, in Quad 4. And you know, year to date, performance has been unremarkable, including this morning's pre-market move. Visa is basically flat uh, year to date. So, you know, that's I guess about as good as it gets in my world. Uh, on the flip side, you've got Capital One. The quarter itself certainly wasn't terrible. They obviously missed the quarter, uh, so that's not good. Uh, but it, it wasn't a terrible quarter by any stretch. Um, I think what's more interesting and what the market's obviously more focused on uh, is the outlook. You know, even if things may not get all that much worse, which they may, uh, it, they're not going to get better they're going to get less good and so that's that's the main takeaway and i think that's what you're seeing here in the pre-market hey there hedgeye nation or if you're not part of hedgeye nation thanks for watching hedgeye on youtube if you haven't already make sure to click on the button below there subscribe to our youtube page you can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content